Welcome to another Worth It video, a series where I buy bundles on the Dying Light 2 store, try them out, test them, see if they're worth buying at all so that you don't have to. Before I get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a like on this video if you found it useful and to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any new uploads. But with that being said, let's get right into it. Now in today's Worth It video, we're going to be looking at the Cursed Pirate Bundle. In this bundle, you get quite a lot of things. First off, the Cutthroat Cutlass which is a legendary one-handed machete, and you also get a blueprint with it, the Cursed Pirate Outfit, the Plundered Paraglider, the Catch of the Day Grappling Hook, the Pirate Grog, which is a consumable, and you also get a blueprint with it, the First Mate's Flintlock, along with its blueprint, and the Cursed Coin Charm. And all this will cost you about a thousand Dying Light points. Now first up we have the Cursed Pirate Outfit, which in my opinion is kind of a disappointment. Like, it's not bad, I just feel like it would have been better if we had a pirate that was a skeleton and wore, like, the old pirate kind of outfit. Like, something out of Pirates of the Caribbean. Of course, the outfit isn't bad, I just think it's a missed opportunity for something really, really fun. Like, I feel like we've reached the point of the game where we can have something as silly or as fun as my idea. But, it's still a pretty good one. Next up, we have the Paraglider, which does not disappoint. Like, this thing looks absolutely incredible. The design is amazing. They have the pirate skull with the hat. Like the gold kind of coloring in the mouth, the nose, and the eyes. Just the, the sheer detail in this is amazing. Like it's honestly one of my favorite paragliders. And for those of you curious, yes, the paraglider does glow in the dark as well as the outfit. The outfit itself has like a little skull, yellow glowing outline. And the back of it also has a nice little symbol. So it does have some good details. And it can make some pretty good photo mode pics. So in terms of aesthetic, it is subpar. Like, I feel like they could have turned my idea into a reality with the night time. Like, during the day, he's a normal pirate, and then at night, he's a skeleton. You know, just have something unique about this outfit. Now, moving on to the melee weapon, the Cutthroat Cutlass. In terms of damage, it's actually somewhere at the top of the damage tier. For me, it does 571, which is very high. It has four number of affixes when fully upgraded, 400 durability, and two mod slots. It also says after you fire the flintlock, you'll deal more damage, so that is something to keep in mind. I'll talk about the flintlock in a second. But overall, it is a pretty good weapon, since it does have mod slots, you can increase the damage, and it is one of the best weapons to have at the start of the game. So overall, the weapon is pretty good. Now moving on to the first mate's flintlock, you get a blueprint that you can upgrade yourself, but you also get five fully upgraded ones. Now this weapon is like the quad damage gun, it's like a secondary thing that you can use. When fully upgraded, it's got 10 shots, the duration is 12 seconds, and you can produce one for 100 scrap. Now what this thing does is that you can shoot your enemies, deal a little bit of damage, but also weaken them, so that your next melee hit will be stronger. Now it says if you combine it with the Cutthroat Cutlass, which is the melee weapon that comes with this bundle, you'll unleash maximum pain, in other words, the maximum amount of damage. Now if you're just starting the game and you're rocking both of these things, it'll be a great head start for you to complete the game. But for veteran players, it's not all that great. The flintlock can be paired with other weapons, but I just feel like it is a waste. Like it is not worth 100 scrap just to weaken enemies. Now if you are dealing with bosses, that's probably a different situation altogether. It could be good for bosses, but I still feel like it'd be a waste of time to craft this and then use it. Like you'd better off using something else. Now it's not to say it's completely useless, it could be a fun way for you to play, a fun little play style, if you will. But in my opinion, it's just not my thing. Up next, we have the Pirate Grog, which is a legendary consumable. Now, in terms of stats, it heals 40% of your health, negates 40% of damage taken, and lasts 20 seconds. You can produce one of these for three alcohol and two things of honey. Now, in my opinion, this thing is not all that great. Like, I would never use this. You get drunk after you use it, so your vision is very blurry, you can't really run, you don't have much control over Aiden. And just the amount of health is just not that worth it. Like, I would rather use a med kit or even medicine. And for damage taken, you can either use a toughness booster or a rage booster. The toughness booster does do 25%, but it lasts much longer, and your hit reaction is softened. Plus, you can produce more for a cheaper price. And if you use a rage booster instead, it doesn't say how much damage it reduces, but it is a lot and you also deal 100% more damage. So I would rather use the Rage Booster instead of this thing. Now, obviously I'm not gonna talk about the grappling hooks, it's kind of useless, it's just a skin. But if they did add a special effect, then maybe it would be worth talking about. But it's just a skin, no one really pays attention to it, so it's not really worth talking about. Now lastly, we have the Cursed Coin Charm. Now this thing is actually kind of interesting. It costs 700 mutation samples to equip, but after every kill, you can then dismantle it and get old world money. It also stacks, so you can get multiple kills and get even more money. 
Now, if you're trying to do the millionaire achievement where you get a million old world money, this could actually help you out a lot. On screen, you can see how much I got for like only a kill. And then here you can see how many after quite a few kills. So the amount isn't anything crazy, but I feel like if you use this from the start of the game all the way to the end, you'd get a crazy amount. So give this a try. Let me know in the comments what's the highest you've ever gotten with this thing. And I'll pin it to the top of the video. But that's it. If you guys want to check out the best playlist for Dying Light 2, the best videos ever, check out this playlist right here that I made. It's got all of my best videos, the best bundles, the best weapons, glitches, everything. But if you only want to check out other bundles, check out this playlist instead. Other than that, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.